You can stick all of your snacky snacks in these pockets right here because girl, there are four of them, okay? I cannot believe that we are at 1 million subscribers. I love you. Thank you so, so much for subbing to my channel. You guys have no idea how much I love and appreciate every single one of you, especially the ones that have been there for me since day one, since before my YouTube time, since my no face, Wattpad, YN, FFS times. And I feel so, so blessed to be able to share this journey, this growth, with all of you guys and I really want to just celebrate this milestone by giving back let me know what you guys would like in terms of a giveaway coming soon I usually do Shein gift cards for my giveaway but if you guys have another idea please let me know in the comments down below and I'll happily look through them I feel like you guys deserve all the credit in the world so let's go into today's Shein haul there's a lot of back to school options there's a lot of basic options for everyday wear some designer dupes and some occasion dresses so yeah let's do this Okay, I will admit I have a slight addiction to cargo pants right now. Anything cargo, I'm just like so, so, so obsessed with. And this pair, okay, mm, hands down, my top, top, top number one. This is a high-rise pair that is not see-through despite it being super light colored. Like I am wearing an undies with like bright pink flowers on it. And can you guys see? Can you? I don't think so. And the good thing is it also comes in a black version, which I'll be putting on later for you. Don't worry. The reviews on these on Shein are also like OOTW, like out of this world. Everybody who got them, love them to death. So please do yourself a favor and grab one of these before they sell out. I also think this is perfect, perfect for going back to school. It's cool, it's trendy, it makes a statement, but still it adheres to every kind of dress code out there. So. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that you can stick all of your snacky snacks in these pockets right here because girl, there are four of them, okay? Like don't ever go hungry between classes. Let's talk about this black top. So you guys know me, I'm forever looking for a good quality closet staples that can last for a super long time. So this one is it. This is so stretchy. It seems like it's made from like a ribbed material, which makes it a little bit more warmer and less sweat wicking than like a cotton top, for example. But it is worth it. It is so, so loose fitting on you. Like I feel like I'm not wearing anything right now. It does not cut off your circulation at all. And this type of cut is so flattering for all body types without being tight and constrictive. You can dress it up with gold jewelry like I'm doing now. Throw a black mini skirt on it for a date night look or just throw some jeans over it. Whatever bottoms you have in your closet would match with this top. Also, can we talk about my new favorite addition to my bag collection? If you guys think it's Balenciaga, you guys are not correct. But you guys are not wrong either. I mean, this is a dupe of the Balenciaga Le Cagoli. Oh my god, I don't really know how to pronounce it. This is a dupe that only costs about like $60 or so. So I will be linking it down down below it's not from Shein I wish it was okay 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 just look at this fit just look at it just admire it ah! okay this is the exact same fit as the one from earlier but switched over these pants from a beige one to this black one I don't think I have spent that long staring at my reflection in the mirror. I just freaking love this outfit. Let's switch up the top into something a little bit more school appropriate and let's see how this outfit looks. <gasps> okay shut up literally Shut up. Okay, so I just switched into a white ripped t-shirt and a tote bag and this outfit is just giving me major college vibes. Like you're just chilling at the library or just chilling at a coffee shop in between your classes while still looking cute so you can still use the barista or the library books. It has books around here. <laughs> True to outfit. Okay, this t-shirt is also from Shein. The material reminds me a lot of the previous black cropped top with it being ribbed. And so yeah, it is extremely stretchy. The black one has my stamp of approval all over it. This one, like I still love it. I love the design. I love that it's just a really basic white t-shirt that you can throw on, but still a little bit more like a fancier t-shirt. I give it like a nine out of 10 because I minus one point for it being a little bit on the see-through side. So I'm wearing a beige bra with it and you can't really see it but I'm sure if I wore something like a black bra and they're like a neon purple bra it's gonna show you know what let me just put it on right now so we can put this to the test okay I don't think it's that bad even can you guys see 
that it's a black bra underneath but like it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be 9.5 out of 10 so throughout the summer I noticed that vest especially these type of like tailored vests that are kind of cropped and there's buttons down the middle here they kind of remind me of a little bit of like boss girl meets vacation vibe and it blew my expectations away I don't know what I was expecting with it being white of course you know me I really needed to test out whether it was see-through so this one is double lined all the way on the inside I wish I could like open it so you guys can see but it is extremely thick it's not see-through so I was able to test it with a black bra oh I love that you can actually wear a normal bra with it I feel like it reminds me of the one that Aritzia has and that like all the Aritzia employees were wearing so I paired it with my effortless pants also from Aritzia I think that the color just matches perfectly and I know what you guys are thinking you guys are thinking the outfit looks good because the pants are from Aritzia so I changed into a pair of Shein pants and these pants I actually reviewed in detail in my previous Shein video so if you haven't checked it out make sure you do this pant is such a close dupe to the effortless pants without the price tag and I literally just think everyone should own one let me know which pants you prefer with this vest top this one or this one so this next fit clearly not for back to school this is essentially a micro skirt if you're not aware micro skirts have completely taken over the fashion trend of this summer and in addition to them being extremely extremely small like the name suggests they're often also low rise i think Haley wore a black micro skirt and then after that the internet just exploded i got this in a size extra small and it does fit really like really loose on me but i guess it's supposed to sit really low rise i have such conflicting thoughts about this skirt i don't think i would realistically wear this outside but then at the same time i recognize that it's trendy and it's super popular if you are looking for a micro skirt this is one that i would recommend because it is not a skirt it is a skirt, and the skirt on the inside isn't those like really really like, see-through thin flimsy not lined kind of like crap this material is pretty much the same as the outer layer if you are one of the girls that loves to rock these micro skirts out because they're super trendy but you feel kind of constricted and you're not too confident like myself what i would suggest is is to go with something that is an overshirt just throw something like this on this is how i would personally style this you can leave like a couple buttons unbutton on the bottom here so you know it kind of like shows a little bit of your tummy just a little bit i actually think this is super cute if you actually pair this with a pair of loafers and white socks so let's try that style i love how this whole video is turning into a live get dressed with me i think it gives off very preppy vibes and i don't know something kind of like dark academia oh let me get a headband Okay guys, I need you to rate this outfit on a scale of 0 to 10. 0 being you will never ever touch this with a 10 foot pole. And 10 being you're adding everything to car right now and checking it out. For this next look, I just want to apologize to everyone out there who have been following my socials other than YouTube. You guys will all know that I am freaking obsessed with this glow mode romper to the point where I actually <laughs> wore it three or four days in a row, I think. You have to drop everything go on to Shein right now and buy this romper because I'm not even joking this is the most comfortable romper I have ever been in and I'm not even like a romper girl to begin with this looks almost identical to the Aritzia Divinity romper which I have tried on right here and the Divinity romper gave me a camel toe and a wedgie at the same time even though that was the right size for me and this glow mode one didn't this glow mode one i also did not have to wear a bra so i'm not wearing a bra right now ladies look no bra still support unlike the Aritzia one this one did not give me a camel toe i think it's because this area here is slightly more elongated so for my ladies out there who have a slightly longer torso you guys will definitely feel it in this romper out here you guys will definitely appreciate this romper because it does have more give in this midriff area somehow it just gets more and more comfy the more i put it on and for those of you who are kind of iffy about you know wearing something this skin tight just throw a white overshirt over it it is trendy it is so stylish it is like the thing to do this summer trust me i was in downtown and i kid you not when i say that like every other girl is in some kind of like white throw over it's blocks of sun it's super lightweight it covers you up it even blocks your bum bum from showing from the back if you have a period stain this will cover you i just think this is every girl's best friend guys i forgot to mention for the glow mode romper please 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 go at least one size up from your usual size and this is true for all glow mode items by the way pants tops rompers one size up okay i am 
literally never taking the stress off. Can we get a Zara dupe alert for this dress? This is absolutely stunning. I wanted to get this dress on Zara and then I saw that Shein had a version so I'm like, gotta try it out. And you guys, it did not disappoint. This entire thing is like a silkish satin material. And here, let me show you how the entire thing is double lined, okay? So this is the inside and you can see the stitching out here and even all the way through here, it's got this like inner lining material. And the booby cups are actually cups, so I'm not wearing a bra right now and it's doing pretty well in terms of support for my boobies. I love the straps are so far on the two sides. I just think it's very, very flattering. It's adjustable. As as well from the back. Definitely has Karina's stamp of approval all over it. Get your usual size. I got mine in the extra small and if I can, I would go grocery shopping in this dress. This purse I picked because it goes hand in hand with my crystal heels that I have featured before and I will be linking everything down below as always so you guys can feel free to check them out. This purse, okay, another designer brand dupe. Can we get a round of applause for Karina's ability to pick out designer dupes from Shein? This is a cult Gaia dupe is lined with this rhinestone trim all over the back area here as well as the straps. And the inside looks like this, very neatly lined and not flimsy at all. Highly, highly recommend. Okay, I also want to show you some examples of what you should not be spending your hard-earned cash on Shein, okay? Because that is what I'm here for, my hauls. I try things on so you guys don't have to make the mistake of buying an SHIT item and then getting disappointed. I'll do that for you. I'm trying to think of really nice and objective adjectives to describe this dress but it really is not that great okay i don't know why i got deceived into buying this dress first of all do you guys see how it's clinging to my legs i don't know if you guys can tell but it's really hard to move anywhere without the fabric being like statically clinging onto your body it is so so thin like my patience is already wearing thin this is thinner than any patience i have left at the end of the day with two kids the back is impossible to tie you really need like another additional pair of hands to help you tie the back and it just overall feels like a nightgown but like it's really statically clingy nightgown but trust me it doesn't look good it doesn't feel good this next outfit is a super y2k moment this is a two-piece set the top is this like corsetti kind of vibe like one continuous piece of fabric is pretty soft and stretchy along here and then the bottom is a skirt that you can wear kind of like low rise if you feel like it or you can go a little bit high rise like this i just paired it with my ah, give me a ding 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 Another designer dupe from Shein. This is a dupe for the Row sandals, which I believe retails for triple or even four digits. And actually very surprisingly comfy to walk in. So I wore this exact outfit out to the beach and I took a picture right here. And I actually got a lot of people asking me where I got the set from. If they have this in more colors, I would definitely go back and order more because I think this is something that is really versatile. You can just wear the top on its own, pair with some jeans or the skirt on its own. And queens, remember we never forget our shades to block off all the haters. I mean the sun. I don't know how I feel about this. What do you guys think? I normally not a cobalt blue person but i feel like it's almost a little bit too small or like too short on me like i subconsciously just always find myself trying to pull it down even more yeah i don't think i'm feeling this top what do you guys think okay rate this outfit from zero to ten one more time i really really love these flare pants though this is super stretchy right here and the overall feel of these pants are kind of like spandex like workout type of material flare isn't too dramatic i think it's very wearable for everyday life especially for like back to school and you want to have something other than like jeans and leggings you can definitely go with something like flare pants let's see if we can find another top more suitable for this already better I'm liking it way more. Let's see how it looks after I throw on a jacket over it. So this is a baseball jacket that I got last year, but I thought with back to school coming, you guys might need some inspo. How cute does this look? Oh my god! I actually cannot wait for back to school looks. I just need to know when you guys actually shop for back to school. Like, do you do it end of July? Do you wait until end of August? Do you wait until like September? Please let me know so I can time a back to school look for you guys. 
So my love for cargo pants and cargo skirts continues with this army green cargo mini slash micro skirt. So here's my belly button and it sits pretty much right on top of my belly button. This is in size extra small and it's just something different. I think the combo of the color and the style and the length of it just makes it super unique and super Y2K if you're into that. I'm just not sure about the overall wearability of the skirt. I did feature it in my Modest versus Let's Models lookbook, if you haven't seen them, make sure to check it out right here. I mean, I have like always a love-hate relationship with these type of skirts because while they make your legs look hella long, they also are extremely difficult to walk in without flushing the entire world. And let's not forget, if you happen to drop something like, I don't know, like a $50 bill, do not pick it up. <laughs> if you drop anything and have to bend over to pick it up, GG. And you guys are always asking me, Karina, what are you wearing underneath your super short skirts? And my answer to that is I usually just go for skorts, skirts with built-in shorts, like that mini micro black skirt from earlier. But in case you run into a situation where there's a skirt you really like and there is no built-in shorts, I like to just wear my sport shorts, yoga shorts, biker shorts, or if it's like a blazing hot day and I don't wanna be like, you know, giving myself a yeast infection with all the different tight fitting sport shorts, I'll go for something a little bit more breathable. And this is the one that I usually go for. It's not exactly opaque. So it is kind of like a semi sheer type of shorts. It prevents your inner thigh from rubbing together in the hot weather which prevents them from chafing which is really important and it has tummy control while being perf proof and giving you protection from the pervs all while being really really lightweight and breathable i'll be linking this down below if any of you guys are interested okay guys that is it for this shein haul thank you guys once again for 1 million subs i really really appreciate and love every single one of you if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you guys want to see a back to school lookbook soon also please let me know when you do the majority of your back to school shopping so I can time that video for you guys. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!